Hello Prank Coders, welcome back to Prime Coding channel. I am Anita Mishra. In today's video, I want to talk about the SQL recently asked questions, okay, which is very important for 26 batch who are preparing for Cognizant or whose hiring process is in progress, okay. So, cram the technical assessment in one shot guidance from Prime Coding. Subscribe our channel if you have not because finding the exact quality questions would be very hard on YouTube and we will be providing for free. Okay, so do support our hard work. Just click on bell icon, subscribe, like and share with your friends. It will eventually help you and your friend to grow in his career or her career. Okay, so let's begin with the very first question. You can see a schema design in front of your screen. Okay, in the exam as well, you might see this in your right hand panel or left hand panel or bottom. But if you are not able to, there would be a button around the question. Just try to find like view schema or they will be writing in the specific instruction that uh, if you want to view the schema, click here or that. Okay, so you need to be very uh, prompt and active when you are writing the exam. So all the details of train that runs from or go to station that has space in its name. So when we heard the term space in its name, so simply in my mind, like keyword will come and something related to name, we will use uh, this modulus operator, you could say, okay. And in between the space will work fine because we need to find the particular name. So this is the way we usually figure out what needs to be done because SQL is one of the uh, technical skills that they will test you if you got shortlisted for any of the profile in Cognizant. Definitely you need to go through the SQL question. So prepare hard. Eventually it will help you in your interview too. So all details you need to print. The SQL queries are very easy. Whatever has been asked, just put into the requirement, whatever column is required, just write it vaguely. Okay, you can just write a uh, ID, then just write name and etc, etc, etc. Now, why I am writing etc, 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 I am not that brilliant. Okay, I know to what would be the query. But if I spend more time on it, then it will be the loss of many students, isn't it? But this is very easy, I will let you know, because I have created tons of SQL videos, which has been covered in a proper one-to-one -one manner. Okay, you can have a look on one-shot videos which I have created. There, I already told how these queries you need to write, why it is easy, what type of joins you, you, you gonna use, and what is the difference between them. Okay, so yes, whatever it is required, you just need to write ID, name, etc, etc, depending upon the question. Then definitely we need to use from, otherwise from which table it will take the data, isn't it? Just write the table. So here I can see the table name is train details, train details, then uh, TBL. So you need to have an alias to uh, refer these columns. Okay, so I will refer at T, so I will write t.id which means from this particular table you need to take id t.name from this particular table you need to take the name similarly you need to do the same okay now when you see multiple things okay because you need to know the stations as well then only you will be able to get the train names or train details so i can see station so whatever joins is available in the another table or the primary table, you just need to connect it. Okay, so you can just use join because we need to find the intersection between the intersection data, which is the train names and the station's ID. Okay, so yes, I can just simply write whether the t dot train from t dot uh, not train, it should be station. Okay, you need to specify the another table as well, isn't it? So it would be train dot stations. TVL and just mark it as S. Now you need to tell on which condition on, on which category you are joining it. So whatever it is available, I will write it as S dot station. I will write it in short station dot ID or ID is equivalent to train dot two. Simple. On this criteria you can do or you can do station ID equals to train hyphen from. Simple. Again it will be joined. Now after writing this join, any kind of operation you can do, just write where and whatever condition you want to apply, just apply it, you will get your answer. Here, we want the name, okay? So, we can just write, okay, we have station name, so I can write it as s dot, as dot station name is equals to, 
or you can put is equals to not is equals to because here we need to check with uh, the ampersand uh, not ampersand the modulus value so we just write like it should be like modulus dash modulus dash which means it should have space between the two words and yes we go our work is done and it will be giving you output let's check the output see whatever it is required i use those columns then the table from then on which uh, table you want to join found the common values and get the things done simple as that buttery sql query okay so question number two this question we have written in a very short because we are unable to find the exact portion we found the screenshots but it has the email id listed so we can't uh, just put it on otherwise that would be hard situation for the candidate whose screenshot is being shared with us is it so yes display district hotel id hotel name reading so I can see from the question itself, we need to have the hotel ID, hotel name and the rating. From where I can get hotel ID, from here I can get hotel ID. So I will just write hotel ID. Okay. Then what it's been asked, hotel name. Okay. Hotel name. Okay. Then what has been asked, rating. Okay. Rating of hotels which have have order in the month of July. So I need to find the order. Okay, we have an orders table, we have an hotels table and I can see the primary key would be definitely hotel ID and a hotel ID, isn't it? So these are the primary key that definitely I can use for connect. And yes, I need to select, I need to select these column I have selected and these column from where I can get from hotel details from order details i will get this column isn't it i will get two columns from here i will just mark it as h so i will write h dot h dot h dot so i provided that identification mark and with that identification mark i can identify the columns of that particular table now i need to find uh which join i will simply apply the inner join because i need the common values simple so yes i will write it as orders and i will mark it as o then or simple which condition you want to join a simple and hotel id equals to uh what the simple hotel id again now here it would be o dot or here is the h dot and it has been connected if it is connected then you just need to write what the name okay it should be equivalent to the uh, like the month should be equivalent to July. Now, what you can do is, as you are not able to see the question properly, they have mentioned, hint, use hotel uh, details and order table to retrieve a data over a date 7. So, this kind of thing has been provided. This is a string. So, if it is a string, you can find, right, match keyword. You should know the string operation for sure. Okay, in the string operation, there are many. Like, substring operation is there. The lower, then upper Please make a note because in the interview, these kind of questions, they definitely ask you if you are, if your luck is not that good. Okay. So these, these, these can easily be asked to you, concat. You should prepare all of these uh, spring, uh, string operations. Okay. So yes, 90% question has been solved. One, two line. One line is for the where condition. Another line is for the sorting condition. If you think that I am missed not, I have saw that, uh, Ascending order is listed. So yes, you can see order by SD.ID ascending order. Then month is O dot order is equals to SEP. Month is equals to this. So out of that timestamp, what will happen is it will find out the month and it will just relate it with it. Yes, if it is, then it will generate the output and it will give you the right output. Now another question. I just want all of my prime coders to solve it by yourself. Take five minutes. I will let you know the solution because the solution is very easy. Some people do get afraid by looking over four tables, four tables. But when I show you the solution, it would be very easy. So do share your solution in the comment box. I will be liking the first uh, perfect query in the comment box which can help the other fellows okay do watch this sql one shot video it it will help you to crack your upcoming place for sure because it has all the sql topics that is needed to be prepared before sitting in cocktails okay so watch a to z guidance of sql video it will definitely help you out now you are trusting us for your resources of cognizant oa trust us for your interview as well because if you know your mistakes your problems your confidence problem your nervousness your turning point before your actual interview then definitely no one can stop you to have your opportunity letter into your hand 
yes because we will be providing you real uh, expert guidance who crack cognizant in their on campus and off campus placement we will be spending more than 90 plus minutes with you face to face where we'll ask you many questions from your resume from your subjects from your hr from your mr from your uh, company site most of the questions would be taken care of we analyze your performance that will give you the expert guidance and feedbacks from our or mine experience so that you can crack your upcoming company if you are weak in something we'll let you know what to study and how to study for make your parents happy you can trust www.prankcoding.in and get your mock interview done now the link would be in the description please let us know if you want more sql videos so that will be posting everything so i'll meet you with a new video soon